This is the 802bikeguy.com tire changing method. Let's assume you have a flat tire. You need to get the tire off the rim. A lot of people have trouble getting it on and off. Pedro's tire levers, best available tire lever on the market. Lifetime warranty. If you break them, they'll send you new ones. This is a surface Seca Survivor tire. Pretty uh, durable tire, harder rubber compound, generally a little hard to get off, but uh, not with my method. So usually I just unseat the bead a little bit. Uh, you gotta hold the tire like you're stabbing somebody. This way, and then there's gonna be another position going back on. So spoon facing you when the back of your hand is facing you, the spoon part of the lever there. Uh, get it into the bead. I usually start away from the valve stem, get it under the bead, flip it up, and now what you want to do is sweep to the right, or if you're left-handed, sweep to the left. Off in one sweep. I like to pull the tire all the way off, pull the tube out, check the carcass of the tire, make sure there's no offending objects in there, put the fresh tube or patch tube back in. I always pre-inflate it so that there's a little bit of air and there's still some in there. That way it's inside the tire, it's not trying to stick out or fall out of the tire. When you go to put it back on, it's much easier with the tube a little bit pre-inflated. I always put everything on in one piece as opposed to trying to shove the tire or shove the tube into the tire. So I'll start with the valve stem. Now what you want to do is you want to hold the lever with the point facing down and the spoon facing you when your fingers are facing you. Right there. Again, stabbing motion. Easy way to remember it. Get the first side of the bead on, and now, basically all I'm doing here is making sure that the tube is sitting in the V part of the rim and it's not going to pinch when I start sliding the other bead on. I always start at the valve stem. Get as much on as you can by hand. Here, the tube wants to stick out a little bit, you just shove it back into the V part of the rim. Again. Spoon facing you when your fingers are facing you, stabbing kind of motion. Stick it into the bead, slide it up, and around, and you're back in. And that's pretty much how I mount and dismount 99% of tires in the shop. Um, every now and then I've got to use the Pedro's downhill tire levers, which are big, long, metal screwdriver looking things. But, uh, yeah, like I said, 99% of the time I can get a tire on and off with one tire lever using that method I just showed you.